um, after delicensing uh, and, and a lot of deregulation at the level of the center, uh, the sense one gets, at least from far away, is that the center has not taken itself out of the regulatory regimes and so forth, so initiative really is passing on to the states. And uh, the question then is, uh, you know, perhaps states are the ones that are going to be running the show. Um, do you really feel that uh, the, that this center, in a sense, is out of the hair of the states, uh, or there are still issues pertaining, and, and that uh, center kind of is turning out to be a bit of a still some drag on uh, the progress that the states want to make? Well, uh, the question is how the center-state relationship has changed after the licensing, and uh, how much of a role the center still plays in investments. And I'll tell you that much has changed on the ground, much has changed regulatorily, but uh, there are still some vestiges of the earlier era. Now what has happened in these last 20 years is states have started attracting investment on their own efforts. A state like Odisha, for instance, mine, has for the first time in many decades now uh, has an economic growth rate higher than the national average. And this has been based on a, a huge surge in investment in various uh, sectors of the economy in our state. Now, whereas we now have the freedom to do so in many ways, the center still has a knee-jerk reaction and I think it still feels a need to have some kind of a oversight and direction as to where these investments go. So I'll give you an example. Odisha has a lot of uh, natural reserves, mineral resources. And in the old days, based on a command economy, we would get uh, small investments to just uh, run mines, which gave uh, little revenue to the state, little employment. Now, we have enacted laws in the last decade where we give priorities to those investments which also have downstream investment. For example, if somebody wants to just uh, operate a mine uh, versus somebody else who wants to operate a mine and put up a steel plant to use the output of that mine, we give priority to the second. And as a result, we have attracted uh, on paper about a hundred billion dollars wow. of investment into Odisha, but on the ground already more than 20 billion dollars has been invested. Now this is a, an order of magnitude higher than what's happened in the previous 50 years. Uh, but the fact remains that we have uh, uh, clashes with the center. Uh, the center is not entirely happy with the states uh, sort of determining their own economic policy in terms of investments. Uh, they have objections on certain matters. Uh, so, so we, what, what kind of uh, objections can they raise? Uh, well, one of the objections is fundamental as to whether the mineral property belongs to Odisha or belongs to the nation. And are we entitled to prioritize uh, or incentivize investments in the state? Or should the center have the ability to redirect that investment uh, where it suits the country rather than where it suits the region? Now, this is the, a, a, a sort of a vestige of an earlier era where politics decided where investment should go, not economics. So, so what is the instrument here that they are using to uh, prevent the state from making those decisions? Well, for instance, the center has been trying to change the Minerals Regulation Act, which changes the balance of power. It's a, a concurrent subject. Uh, minerals regulation is a concurrent subject, requires both state uh, uh, authorizations as well as central authorizations. So they've been trying to change the act to change the balance of power where the center gets to uh, dictate uh, on, on mineral policies. There are also environmental laws where um, you know sometimes a differential standard is used to encourage speed up or slow down projects depending on where the center thinks the project should be located. So is, is the state government finding ways to get around these? Uh, yes, we are fighting back. Uh, we are fighting back politically by, by mobilizing public opinion that uh, it, it you know, we, we, we are a regional party and we have succeeded because we uh, stopped tolerating stepmotherly treatment, which used to be the case when you had sort of a unitary party running the whole country or most of the country. Right. We are also moving courts. We, we've, uh, the state government has actually filed litigation against the central government uh, in the Supreme Court. So there are different ways that this is playing out, but the balance of power between the center and states is uh, a work in progress. Right.